Hi, I'm Becky, and I'm going to describe using my Francis Francis X7.1 and make it what I call a capulate. First, I'm going to take a capsule. This happens to be decaf and put it in the capsule holder. Now, I'm going to crouch down and you put it in like that and simply move from left to right. Took me a while to get used to that, but after a while it's just a natural thing to do. Now, I'm going to turn the machine on. This is the on button. This dial is simply telling you what the temperature is moving up to. When it gets hot enough, this will turn blue and you'll hear a chiming sound. In the meantime, while we wait for that, it's about a minute to heat up, I'm going to put the cup, which I have pre-warmed in the sink with just putting some hot water in it for a while. That'll help your final drink stay warm longer. I'm just going to put it underneath the capsule holder. You can see the temperature is moving up. I do have a little Mr. Coffee cup warmer. Again, it's going to help me keep the espresso warm while I'm finishing the frothing. You can see this is moving up. By the way, this is supposed to be a cup warmer. It doesn't really get warm enough to warm the cups. Maybe if you used it all day, it would, but I don't. Did you hear that chime? And here's the cup icon all lit up. Now I'm gonna just tap that. In a few seconds, the espresso will start coming out of the capsule as the hot steam is being driven through it. In the instruction manual, you'll learn that you can adjust the amount of water that pours through. So if you're interested in changing the amount of liquid, you can do it to some extent. At this point, I'm going to just move this cup. Here's the espresso. And if you wanted to serve espresso, well, there you are, and it's delicious. I'm gonna move it over to the Mr. Coffee cup warmer. Now I'm going to press this button because we want to now increase the heat from what we just used even higher so that we can use the steam, the hot steam to froth the milk. So press that button. This light comes on. You'll notice our blue icon went off. We are now waiting uh, for this to heat up hot enough and it'll tell us with another chime. In the meantime, I'm going to fill my 12 ounce pitcher with whole milk. The booklet, the instruction booklet recommends 75 mils. I say 75 to 100 mils fits these cups just beautifully. So I use the gradations there. A little bit more. Okay. Did you hear the chime? And now this is lit up blue. That means this wand down here is ready to go. Now, there might be a little condensed water and you want to get rid of that condensed water. So what you do before you start frothing the milk is take another container. This happens to be an empty, larger pitcher. I bought it, it was too big. So now I use it just for this. I'm gonna press the steam um, button um, just to get rid of the condensed milk that might be in there, or condensed water. Touch it again to stop. So all I've got is a little water in there. This is still blue, means it's still hot and ready to froth. So here we go. This is somewhat movable, and 
and we're going to froth about a maximum of 25 seconds and you want the milk to get completely warm. You can feel it with your hand as it goes from cold to hot. I'm gonna just press it. I'm counting the seconds. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. It's kind of hard to see the frothing. I'm obviously keeping the bottom of this wand down near the bottom of the pitcher. I've kind of lost track of where the seconds are, but by touching the pitcher and making sure all the spots are hot, I know that that's hot enough. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I always get a napkin ready. You'll notice the capsule container makes a nice napkin container. So I'm gonna take this off and you can see there's gonna get droplets of milk. So I'm gonna do this and then I'm going to grab the plastic part, which is two parts. That goes on the metal wand. So I just toss those in that big pitcher so that I can clean them out. And the last thing we wanna do is run some more steam through the actual metal nozzle to clean it out so there's no milk residue. Okay, so now we're gonna turn our attention to the milk itself. And you can see it's kind of frothy and it's made some real nice microfoam. And different people do different pours. I just go straight in. So what I'm doing is just mixing the foam with the milk and at the end you get this lovely, lovely foam. And so there is Capulate. Now what I like to do, my signature move, is to take a little syrup and for example I'll do a B for Becky. And if you were my guest, I'd do one for you. So there's my cap and latte. Next thing to do, remember to turn off your machine, remove your spent capsule. There's a little bit of water there, go like that. And then I save the capsule and I recycle them with a special bag that Ely will provide. And that's just where I keep them temporarily. And turn off the cup warmer. There you are. Cap latte.